Hey, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so you guys know that we have a new roll-on projection screen. Uh, actually, it is the Crystal Edge Technology Screen Paint. It's done in two different forms. Now we have it with the paint sprayer for those of you that can use a paint sprayer. For those of you that are not comfortable with the paint sprayer, we have it on a roll-on form. This is some of the different sheets I've actually painted within a couple of minutes. It doesn't take long to do this. So we're going to paint this giant black piece of uh, material with the uh, Crystal Edge roll-on. And I start already right here. So let's get this started. Let me get my camera strap first around here. This is not in the way. We use a roller. There's no particular way you got to do this. Just roll it on. That's basically about it. Let's get some more paint. <clears throat> yes. It makes no difference. Later on, I was just thinking, I made this comment in one of the videos. I was saying, hey, you know what? It's so easy. Your kids could paint it. So I'm going to bring my nephew down here. He's about three. If I can get permission from, you know, permission to do so, because, you know, a lot of people don't want their kids on YouTube. You know, I'm not saying that it's wrong, but certain people just don't want that. You know what I mean? They just don't want their kids on YouTube. So, um, I have to get permission first to be able to do that. See how easy this is. And I'm painting this in any formation, any formation, no particular form of, of, of strokes, just painting it on. Very easy to do. This stuff coats everything, and I mean everything. I can paint this from side to side. Makes no difference. It's still going to come out all the same. Like I said, I've been doing screen paint for a long freaking time. I mean, a long freaking time. And I know everything there is about making good screen paint. You can go check my archives. My archives go on forever on basically all the different forms of screen paints I have designed down through time. See, we got it on here right nice and heavy. It's not going to make a difference. It's not going to damage the screen in any way. Sorry about that. If I don't have the camera correctly in there. I'll show you how fast I can paint this in. Let me get some of that paint over here. Okay. Kind of rolled off the canvas right there. I am the fastest screen painter ever. Got my little corners right there. Only one coat required. And on some surfaces, you have some surfaces that are a little bit are a little bit harder to paint and they're going to require more like glass glass is going to require two coats and just go back over it make sure I got everything that's it done we're pretty much almost done I got a couple more spots Let me make sure I get in there really good it doesn't take much it doesn't take long to do this, you can paint it in any direction you choose. If you want to go side to side, if you want to go back and forth, it's up to you. It's completely foolproof. Anyone can do this. Anyone. Very easy to do. I love when people do these crazy demonstrations and they go, hey, the screen's got to be painted this way or it's got to be painted that way. And if you do it wrong, this is going to be the consequences and all that other bull. Now this right here is a piece of, of canvas that was painted black first and then I painted it with my chemical. Alright, so I'm going to turn my projector on. No time at all. Took me no time at all to paint that screen in. 
and it's still wet. Oops, Let's see. One, zero. Okay. Got to punch some passcodes. Expand the screen on this a little bit. Now mind, the screen's gonna look a little hot spotty due to the fact that we have glare coming off the screen from the spotlights. Let me go back a minute here. Go find something. Let's get that one video that's playing right now in silence. Turn this off. Okay, we're gonna go back here. I just had a video I just hit. Got some of the demonstrations up here. It's not even funny. Alright, let's find something really fast because I don't want to lose my time on here. Like I said, this is from the overhead lights. Hit my light here, you'll see that'll disappear. See? That's the glare coming off the lights. Mind, it took me no time at all to paint the screen in. It only requires one coat. Like I said, certain surfaces, let me um, project over. Certain surfaces will re require like one coat, that's it. And there's a glare coming off the projector because that's due to the fact that, um, uh, like I said, the chemical, the wet, the paint's still wet. So we'll hit it again. Now, mind you, we have boom, boom, boom. We have all these lights on. The screen will actually, actually start the, um, the smart technology game will start to kick in much better when the screen starts to dry, but as you can see, it looks fantastic from here. Got the other spotlight on over there. And I did this in no time at all. And you see how I painted my screen. I want every direction. Now tell me, you see any street marks? Do you see any blotches? There's nothing. You don't see a blotches, no street marks, nothing. And look how amazing the screen looks. Let's drop all the lights. Still gonna have one light, I think, in the back running. Sorry if my screen's a little crooked. It's just a fast demonstration. I'll show you how fast I painted this screen in. And mind you, it's still wet. So, you know, you've seen some of these demonstrations where people are taking hair dryers and, I don't know, um, all different forms of devices to dry the screen. You don't have to do that with this chemical at all. With this screen paint, you don't have to do this with it. And like I said, this is a Crystal Witch technology screen that is in a uh, roll-on form because like I said, I had customers who um, really didn't like, I mean, not a lot of customers, but we had some that just really didn't do well with the, uh, the paint sprayer. Not saying that, you know, a lot of people are intimidated because it's a paint sprayer, but a lot of people want to use the tradition roll-on. So uh, that's what we went with. We decided to design a roll-on version to make it a little easier for everybody because you know you got to think about both sides of the coins when you're doing this kind of stuff which kind of work you got to think both sides okay I'm trying to get something with a little more color in it I just want to do the same demonstration over and over and over again my battery life is dying that's why I'm kind of rushing here to get all this done really quick because my battery life is dying on my camera. Come on, you were doing this. We still have the spotlights on, I have the overhead light on. I'll keep my spotlight on. There's my spotlight on right there. Go over and look at the angle gain on the screen. It's absolutely amazing. 
like I said, and this is for those of you, like I said, some of you guys are, you know, work well with the roller, and this is what this is for, this is what it's designed for. So it's a roll-on screen. Well, as I said, the screen's still wet. You're still going to see glare from the lights coming off on the screen. Once it dries, it's good. Okay. Guys, I think I might have knocked out my projector. Yeah, I have. I knocked out my projector. Pretty freaking believable. Yep. Knocked out my projector. Unbelievable. Well, it happens, you know what I mean? You're going to have bloopers and stuff like that. Especially with the environment I work on, I work in, it gets complicated in here sometimes, so you will not crap out. So we'll wait for it to pop back on. Hopefully my battery life is still working. But as of, as of now, you already saw the video demonstration. You saw exactly how well the screen works. But yeah, I really got to learn to start putting things up. Yeah, because the power supply is connected right there. And I completely knocked it out altogether. Got to learn to really watch out where that cord is at. All right, so hope the projector pops on in time before my battery life runs out. Because usually when you do these paint on demonstrations, you can't actually do them again, you know, because you've already painted the screen. So, you know, that's one of the things you'll have to deal with. I'm going to go back again on the same demonstration. Because, you know. Yeah, I was wondering why. I was looking at the screen. I said, why in the world did the screen go all black? Huh. That my projector ball blew. Because I beat the crap out of this projector. Literally, I run this projector 24-7. And I beat the crap out of it. I'm surprised it's still running. Oh, here we go. It's popping back on. Okay. So we got some light coming on in the front. So a few things we can talk about really quick. It dries really quick. Just to let you know, um, you don't need a high power projector. I'll show you my projector as always. My NEC VT595 projector is 600 by 800 res. About 2000 lumens, 720p. And it is just freaking amazing. You don't have to spend a lot of money for a projection screen. So we'll have to do this again because, you know, I freaking tripped over the freaking uh, uh, cable and over there and knocked it out. So there's my personal blooper right there. Now, as I said before, this is the light uh, coming off of the, see, that's just the glare coming off of the paint. And we still have our spotlight now on our screen. And you see, and I painted this like in no time at all. See how fast it took me to paint this screen in no time at all. Okay, we'll throw that second spotlight on. All right, so we have the second spotlight on right there. So the screen the screen starts to dry. Um, this let you let you know this is low VOC, so the chemical for both the uh, spray and the roll-on is low VOC, eco-friendly, and low odor, so you don't really smell anything at all. So we'll show you how much light that's now on our screen right here. We have all our spotlights on. And look at my screen. Now, what we'll do is we'll drop uh, one of the spotlights. We'll drop the second spotlight. And we'll take out the overhead light. We still have the light on in the back. I really can't do much about that. So it's the light coming in from there. The screen still looks incredible. And we'll go back on the spotlight. Look at that battery life is done. Boy, everything is going wrong for me today, isn't it? I'm at 10% on my battery life. All right, so let me come out of here real quick. Man, I'm having a, a crazy day right now. Let's do a little. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to do this one instead. Got 10% on my battery life on my on my uh, laptop. Let's see if we can get it done. Let's see if we don't have any more complications. So already I tripped on my uh, my cord. 
it seems like now my internet doesn't want to work. Everything. And this is the kind of stuff that you go through when you record videos. Why do you not? I go through this stuff on a daily. I have uh, hardware issues. I have freaking stuff that just doesn't want to work half the time. You know, this is the stuff you go through. You know, just trying to get it done right. And amazing, it loaded on the other end. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, so we'll pause it here. You guys can see a little bit of the nightmare I go through from time to time. Trying to get things done right. Thank you. Man, there's stuff I gotta go through. Alright, so I got 10% left on my on my laptop. And I have my batteries. Basically, there we go. I'm at 10%. I got you. I got you. I got you. Just give me a little minute. Okay, before my laptop goes out on me, because I don't have time to go upstairs and grab the charger. Hey, I'm Kenneth Burr, or Power Supply. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. This is the roll-on form of the Crystal Edge Technology Chemical. Looks absolutely freaking amazing. Let me get that freaking thing to move off there all together. Come on, it's very, very nice today. All right, so we're going to throw these lights back on again. Hit that spotlight. So now we got our spotlights running with the screen. Try to get some of this in here before my time runs out. Look at the angle gain is a beast. It is. It's just a beast. And mind you, I painted this in with. You don't need any skill. No, no professionals needed for this. Look at this. And like I said, this is glare that's coming off from because the paint's still wet. So what we'll do is we'll drop this one. To show you it's just a glare, and we'll drop this one. All right, and you'll see right up front. Dead on. No hot spotting. It comes from the glare from like the screen technically is still wet. Alright. Hopefully we can get uh, something a little more in here before my time runs out on me. If not, you know, hey, at least I got something in. Let's see what we can get here. Oh, 6%. We're at 6%, people. The time is running out. We're at 6%. Let's check out this commercial also, too. See how beautiful the screen is. Look at that. Oh, and that's it. I'm out. Well, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Yep, we ran out of time. I'm going to do some more demonstrations on this screen. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Let me turn all my lights on here. So we ran out of battery time on the laptop. Laptop shut down. At least I got a chance to paint the... Let me turn the light back on. What am I doing? Uh, at least I got a chance to paint the screen in really quick. Show you guys how fast you can do this. And this is our new roll-on form. So, uh, like I said, if you're not handy with the paint sprayer, you can have a roll-on form. And as you see, it works fantastic. The screen is still wet, as you can see, and looks absolutely amazing. Uh, you don't have to use a dryer to dry out the screen or none of that nonsense. You just paint it, put it up on a wall, whatever surface you're going to choose, and you're done. If you choose you want to paint over your pre-existing projection screens with this, you can do so. You can paint this on canvas, whatever you want. As a matter of fact, really quick, since I got some time in here, I do have a canvas surface behind me, but I don't want to knock my screen clean on the floor and jack it up. But I do behind here have a canvas screen that I did a while ago for some testing. I'm going to actually paint over that real quick, throw that up against the wall, and you guys can see you can actually paint this on canvas. So pretty much any surface you want. Like I said, this is a glare coming from off the projector. See? Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, guys, you all guys all, sorry, you guys all have a good one. Just to let you know, the roll-off form is available. If you go onto the website and you don't see it, it's actually there. When you click on your paint option, don't say paint sprayer. When you click on your paint option, uh, go into the shopping cart and you will see two options that will pop up. One will say paint, um, roll, sorry, paint roller and one will say paint sprayer. 
all right so you know the difference between the two okay you guys